Hello and welcome from this video by Films by Chris. Uh, we've been looking at, in the last couple of videos, converting spreadsheets to CSV files. Now we're going to look at converting CSV files to JSON files, which is a very useful uh, text format uh, that is a little, you know, uh, better arranged for a lot of things than a CSV file is. Um, but between the two, I use uh, comma-separated value files and JSON files both uh, equally. You know, if it's plain text, it's better than, than a binary blob for most things I do anyway. So anyway, here we go. You can see that I've got a couple of spreadsheets here. They're all identical. Uh, and we looked at converting them to CSV files. But to convert it from a CSV file to a JSON file, uh, there's a, one thing we have to make sure our CSV file has. Uh, and then also we need a script that will convert it. Now, I have looked through the repositories Many times, I have not been able to find a program that converts from CSV to JSON. So if I was to, for example, use aptitude, I could search for CSV, which will give me a list of things, and I can quickly grep through that list for JSON. Nothing comes up, and I've tried the other way, where I've searched for JSON, and then I've grep, which gives you a bunch of things, and then I've uh, grep that for CSV. And again, nothing. So there might be something in there, but I don't see anything by name or quick description that uh, indicates it's for converting the CSV to a JSON file. Uh, and then I looked online and I saw a lot of different scripts that people have written. Most of them did not work. I eventually found one that worked mostly. And then I had to make a certain CSV files I had to had certain characters or something in them that was throwing it off. So I made a few tweaks to this, uh, if I remember correctly. I don't remember exactly uh, what that I, that I uh, changed. CSV to JSON. It's a Python script. Actually, let's use less. So this is the file here. It's not very long at all. Uh, it does import a couple of modules here, uh, a CSV module and a JSON module that you, uh, I don't know if those are installed by default in Python. I don't remember installing anything particular to get this to work. Uh, but once you have that, you can just run that command. Uh, and if she, once you have it, I've put it in my uh, local bin folder, but you put it wherever you put your executable scripts. And if you just run it, once you make it executable, and I'll put a link to that script in the description, uh, it does give you the usage if you don't give it anything. So it's very simple. You run the script, input file name, output file name, and you have an option here of pretty or, or dump. And I'm thinking that's just, I always just put pretty. Uh, I think without that, it uh, doesn't just format it with indentations and stuff like that. Um, but again, we can't just, if we were just to take this, so let's see. Uh, we've got our spreadsheets here. Let's do SS convert and we'll give it uh, the people.ods. We did this in a previous video and we'll do the output people.csv. And now I can cat out our people.csv file. And if I was to use uh, CSV to, whoops, let's clear the screen here, to JSON uh, input file, people.csv, and I was to do the output file of people.json, uh, and I'll do format pretty, we'll do that, and then I can cat out our people.json file, and you can see we have a nicely looking JSON here, but it looks funny. Uh, our field names here are carry, Yolanda, Gainesville, Gainesville, what is that? Well, what it, this script does is it takes the first line of the CSV file and it uses that for its tags so you know what each um, column is for. So if that didn't make any sense, because I feel like I didn't explain it very well, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll remove that JSON file we just created. And I will also remove our people.csv file. And I'll just use uh, LibreOffice, uh, LibreOffice, and our people, I'll use our open uh, document spreadsheet. So what we need to do here is we have this column, which is an ID column. And then we got last name, first name, address. Uh, we got city, zip, birth date. Uh, this is their phone number. We have their um, area code and their phone number. So what we need to do here is just right click here and say insert row above. And then here we just need to label these columns. So I'll just call this one ID. And you can call them whatever you want. I'll call this one, uh, actually, it's, that's the last name, L name. I'll call this F name. I'll call this address. I'll call this city, uh, zip, DOB, date of birth, um, area, code, and phone. Now that I have that, again, we're in LibreOffice, so I can just go save as, 
and I can choose CSV text, save. Yes, I want to do CSV. We'll leave these as the default. And there we go. Now we can close this out. And now we can cat out our people.csv file. And if we were to head that out, you'll see that our people.csv file, the first line has that information there. Now, if we run our um, command here, of uh, CSV to JSON dash I, our input file dash O, our JSON output file, pretty. Now we have that, we've generated, we can do people dot JSON. And you can see now here, our, um, we have our city, we have our zip, our date of birth, L name, phone number, which not everyone had a phone number, uh, F name for first name, address, ID, and area code. And again, and then I'm assuming that there are just some empty fields and that's why it's generating this. Um, the, uh, the order here does not matter because with JSON you're gonna call, I want the zip code, I want the DOB, I want the phone number. And there you go, you have yourself a, it's in a JSON format, it's actually in a JSON array as you can see the bracket here. So each one of these items is an item in an array or an object in an array uh, with its current attributes. So. That is it. Again, I'll put a link in the description to the people.csv file, and I'll also give you a link to uh, the uh, Python file. I wish I can give credit to who created it, uh, but I've had this script for a long time. It's just something I found in a forum uh, a year or two ago. I'm sure if you search parts of the script, you'll probably be able to find uh, the original creator. Um, I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.